Hi, my name is Kevin. I live in Massachusetts and am an ex-Republican. I joined the party after my freshman year of college, one, because I realized I was more inclined to the conservative approach to current events, but I also jumped on the Tea Party bandwagon after reading a book by Newt Gingrich, and even though I didn't really know what I was talking about. And that fizzled out after a year, and, you know, I did vote for Romney, and when he lost, I took a good sport approach to making the most of another Obama term. I mean, I'm a, I'm a Christian, I'm pro-life, I'm for religious liberty, I believe marriage is between a man and a woman, but... I mean, I'm happy to see the decision favoring the little sisters of the poor, but when I look back on what's happened in the last three and a half years, and even if Hillary won and the nuns had lost their case, was everything that has been the disastrous Trump administration worth it? I mean, was it worth him locking up kids in cages to deter illegal immigration? Was it worth him refusing to hold Saudi Arabia accountable for murdering Jamal Khashoggi? Was it worth him doing the bidding of Vladimir Putin on every level? Ranging from, you know, uh, denying our intelligence and to uh, putting bounties on our troops. Was it worth him labeling the media as the enemy of the people, like Stalin? I mean, on top of that, there's this ongoing war with reality. And we are seeing the consequences with the coronavirus. 130,000 Americans dead and... Studies say if we acted earlier, we could have saved tens of thousands of lives, but he was too busy trying to work on a trade deal with China. And, you know, he was too busy trying to tout uh, his talking points of a strong economy. Uh, politics is all about compromise, but was this the compromise we were looking for? For now, the best thing to do is vote for Joe Biden, and I don't think there's any man in the world who can help heal this nation's soul than him.